hey guys welcome back to my channel so excuse the hot mess i look like right now i forgot to make an intro for this video of course I always do. So this is a lunch video. I know you guys have really been enjoying these videos a lot, but I did want to mention this video is sponsored by Blue Eel, and I wanted to thank them so much for sponsoring this video. Um, I do mention their product throughout the entire video, but just know all of my opinions are my own. I'm just being honest with you guys. I will always be honest and transparent with you guys about any product that I promote. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I also did want to mention this is going to be my last lunch video. I think for the month of October, at least for now. Um, simply because... I want to focus on other videos, more shop with me videos, deal hunting videos. I also want to focus more on my pregnancy and kind of filming a little bit more of that. And that's kind of what I want to do. Oh, well, without me going on a whole rant, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Hey guys, this is what I'm packing Ethan for lunch for Monday. Kept it very simple. I did want to right off the bat mention that this video is sponsored by Blue Eel. So thank you so much for sponsoring this video. They did send me a new container. They sent me this food jar to try out. It's supposed to keep food warm. So we're gonna be trying this out this week to see if it works, if I like it, and I'll give you guys my honest thoughts at the end of the video. Then they also sent me these ice packs to try out with his lunches. So I'm really excited to try all of this out and see if this works out. How cute is this container? It's supposed to keep food warm or cold for up to 12 hours. So that is super, super neat. And I'm gonna leave their links below. Like I said, I'm gonna see if it actually works out. It's our first time using it. So we'll know by the end of the video if I like it and all that. So. Anyways, with that being said, I'm going to show you guys what I packed Ethan. So these aren't quesadillas. These are like cheese roll-ups, like the ones Taco Bell sells. My kids are obsessed, <laughs> obsessed with those. But I made my own and this just has Colby Jack cheese and a tortilla and it's melted. Hopefully it stays nice and warm for when he takes it to school. And then he's going to have some broccoli, some grapes, and then he's going to take some Cheez-Its. He's gonna have apple juice and a yogurt tube. This is just the one from Walmart that I always get them and they seem to really enjoy it. And then obviously his water. And then as his snack, he's gonna be taking this Belvita blueberry crackers. Um, he's really been enjoying them so far, so yeah, we like those. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack this all up and I'll give you guys my review tomorrow on how these held up and if they were nice and warm and all that good stuff all right guys so it's around 6 30 and i'm gonna get the kids ready for bed very soon but i want to show you guys ethan's lunch so it looks like he did not eat any of his broccoli he left two cheeses but he told me he didn't have time right baby yeah have time <laughs> nothing else he did not drink a lot of his water and I'm assuming it's because he had juice. So whenever I pack juice, he doesn't drink a whole lot of water for some reason. So, let's see. Uh oh, I hear something. Okay. And he only ate one of his quesadillas. Why? I don't have time. You didn't have any time today? Okay. But did they keep, was it warm? Was it good? Yeah. Was the food, was it warm? Yeah. So it wasn't like cold or anything? It's actually pretty cold now, but it's been in here for a bit. But he did say it kept it warm. I'm surprised because honestly he does like when I make these at home. But we're gonna give this another try tomorrow. Um, he did say they were good, he just didn't have time. So I'm assuming he was too busy chit-chatting with his friends, which is why he didn't have a lot of time, so. Yep, I'm gonna start prepping for tomorrow's lunch and you guys see my kid does not always eat everything But this is kind of a first because usually he eats the main food that I pack, but yeah Okay guys, so I am packing Ethan's lunch now and he's gonna be taking one of these go-go squeeze And this is supposed to be the fruit and veggies kind um, For some reason he never eats these at school, but I keep trying to pack them hopefully, hoping he will eat them I added some strawberries this Z bar and then I added some fruit snacks as a treat and then as his snack Well, this is all well, probably gonna 
probably gonna change this one out. But as a snack, he's gonna take um, some of these crackers. He's also gonna be taking some Velita mac and cheese. This is really yummy, and I'm gonna put this in the Blue Eel food jar, but I'm gonna do that in the morning because I'm actually packing the night before, so I'll just make this really quick before I send him off to school and put it in there, and hopefully it'll keep it warm. I know he told me the quesadillas were warm, or the cheese roll-ups are warm, but we'll see. I think this will be the real test because it's mac and cheese, and if it's cold, he will definitely not eat it. Uh, so yeah, that's all he's taking for tomorrow, and let's see how he does. Hey guys, so I'm about to check Ethan's lunch and see what he ate. He told me he ate all of his mac and cheese, and he told me it was nice and warm. So that's good, because I know he would not eat mac and cheese that's not warm. Good job, honey. And then in here, all gone. Wow, you did really, really well, okay? Good job, sweetheart. So I'm going to start prepping for tomorrow's lunch. But yes, guys, this is working. Yay! This is what I'm packing Ethan for lunch tomorrow. Just some peanut butter uh, sandwiches. They're like little peanut butter bites. Some vanilla yogurt with some granola. Some cheese. Some of these Cheetos. They're like little skeletons though. So I thought it'd be fun. Um, a clementine and then some gummies. And then as his snack, he's going to be taking this peanut butter cracker thing. And then his water bottle. So that is what he's taking to school tomorrow. So yeah. Hey guys, so I'm just now checking Ethan's lunch. Let's see how he did. He, um, you can tell that some of the yogurt has spilled out, so not fun. And he did really well, except he did not eat his yogurt with granola. You didn't like it? No? Okay, well he didn't like it, so I'm gonna wipe this down and prep for tomorrow's lunch. Okay guys, so we are doing the easy route today. We were out all day uh, taking maternity pictures and we're just now getting home and I haven't really prepped anything for his lunch. So this is what he's taking. He's gonna be taking these Lunchables. I get these at Walmart. They're super cheap for only a dollar. Then a go-go squeeze, a Z-Bar, and uh, apple juice. And then as his snack, He's gonna be taking this Bovida sandwich cracker, and this is in the strawberry yogurt cream, and he really likes it. So that is what he's taking for lunch tomorrow, and that's that's pretty much it. So let's see how he does. Okay guys, so this is for Thursday's lunch, and I'm gonna show you guys. It is empty, literally. I knew he would eat that. It's He loves that. He always eats it. This is going to be the last day I pack lunch because tomorrow Ethan actually is not going to school. He isn't feeling too well and has a low fever, so I'm going to keep him tomorrow. Hopefully he feels better, but that is all he took for lunch this week. I'm sorry that it's not five, but it's four lunches, but that's just the reality. I didn't think he would miss school on Friday, but he is.